It's late Monday evening, and the Kenora AAA Midget Thistles are hard at work at the Kuwaitan Memorial Arena. Heading into the final month of the Manitoba Midget Hockey League regular season, the Thistles are locked in a four-team battle for the final three playoff spots. Adam Withers leads the team in scoring and speaks to their offensive success so far this season. I think our, our lines have generated a lot of chemistry since the start of the year. I know with my line with Buzzy and uh, Trey, we've really had chemistry and we've clicked well and we've been able to score a lot and yeah, we're an offensive team and uh, that's how we rely on winning games and uh, it's something that we're going to have to continue to do moving forward. I think just chemistry with my line, like I really rely on my line mates and they help me out a lot and uh, just like a lot of assists on uh, Trey's goals, you can really bury so I think we just got to keep playing like we did uh, this weekend. We've been recently we've been getting complete efforts from the team and uh, in all three zones playing good defensively and we're uh, still putting up some uh, getting a lot of goals so if we keep playing strong defensive hockey I think we should be pretty good and uh, solidify a playoff spot. Defensively, Connor Keith and Jared Price have been paired on the blue line for most of the year. The duo says the team is destined for the playoffs if they just stay the course. I think we've been pretty good back there. We got good chemistry, know where we are. We got six solid D and we all uh, probably bring a different aspect. aspect to the game and I don't know. We're all pretty solid out there, I think, yeah. for the most part. We just got to play our game uh, all us together and just, uh, I don't know, just defend whatever. Keep, yeah, keep going how we keep have been. We've been shutting them down pretty good, I, I'd say. Perhaps one of the strongest positions for the Thistles is in between the pipes. Their second year goaltender Brock Aikens hits fourth in the league with 15 wins. We just gotta bring our best effort every night and we should be fine. We have lots of skill and if we work hard, we'll be good. It's not bad, you know, I'm used to pressure situations. I've always been in pressure games, so it's just second nature now. We just gotta bring our best effort every night and we should be fine. We have lots of skill and if we work hard, we'll be good. Coach Doug Novak has been happy with the team's performance so far this season and notes the key to success is keeping things simple. We're very happy, uh, you know, how how we're doing right now. Uh, I think we're going in the right direction for sure. Uh, we're winning the games we have to right now, and that's the main key. Biggest thing is right now we got to play in all three zones and we got to play our systems. Just keep it simple, keep with your same game plan like we've been doing for the last month here, and just make sure we're focusing on our systems and play 60 minutes. As coaches, we worry about one team and one team only. That's our team, and we make sure we're prepared every night for 60 minutes. No matter what happens as the season comes to an end, Novak says the team will take the home ice one more time to get their chance at the National Telus Cup Tournament. We have the branch playdowns this year. We host Thunder Bay. So, and then the winner of that, that's March 4th, 5th, and 6th here in Kenora. And the winner of that goes to Saskatoon in April. With Go Kenora, I'm Will Stryline.